felt that I was moving pretty slow until I used some of my abilities. Yeah, it counts as a raid because we took over a certain base, but we didn't capture the area. So we weakened them, basically? We weakened them. Okay. Luna? Yeah. F11? Yeah. Same thing as before, just go for the enemy camp. Okay, the main camp. Yeah. Gotcha. Finally finished it. Yeah, I feel like the other ones don't start at 500. I feel like that's really high. I'll pay attention the next time we do map. Well, this may be a formidable enemy, for all we know. Or perhaps it gets harder as we get higher levels or come to more land. Hmm. Right now, even if I can't kill the officer, I know. Uh, I am definitely keeping the enemy engaged. This ally of ours, I don't want to say the name, Taishi C, whatever. Yeah. He just stands there. He's not very helpful. I'm a little disappointed here. He always looks like he's about to do something, then he does nothing. Coming to join you. And all the dead bodies. I took the base. Go me. I like you have no idea what you're, what you're doing. I thought we had to go take the space up here. No, this was this was the boss. Oh, okay. I thought he was still up here. I didn't know. No. We got all the things. So what makes you decide whether to recruit or release? Yeah, if it's a special officer. Ah. I like how those aren't even my soldiers. <laughs> Ours are dressed in red. The whole point of that was just to show that you're... That my empire is doing well. Okay. Looked like he was kind of showing off. Like he thought he was special walking around.
I'll be the cow. Change it up. Pick your stratagems, you might have something useful. Uh, look at scale and snake formation. I'll explain those. That requires two stratagem points, and it will all large scale stratagems denoted by the yellow X uh -huh. will always consume officers for a short period of time. Oh. Why don't you go ahead and try that? <clears throat> what was our objective? I didn't it, see. We destroy officers and bases. Okay. We, basically, if we capture four bases, we're fine. Okay. I feel like Kao swings very fancy. Like he's spinning and twirling. Look at his cape. Totally butchering the dead body of this guy while I take off the turret. That's right. I do that sometimes. Okay, you have attack increased attack strength. Let's so see how much damage you do to the tower now. Tower's gone. Any tower then. Okay. I destroyed my tower extremely fast, probably like three times faster. Really? Oh, it's definitely going faster. Before I question whether it was worth it or not. Oh, that's crap. I don't know what that's about. That means we basically, I think we lost all our progress since we started. So I'll play the rest of this off screen and catch us up. But um, we'll go ahead and take a break here and maybe we'll get back to this later this weekend. Thank you very much for watching Transplaying Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. Thanks for joining us. Bonus post game commentary. Here I used the Scout Command to recruit an officer from another army, and I have unrelated cutscene. So these are the highlights of the replay through. The difference is I took a lot more time recruiting some other officers using the scout command. I also had to raise more money so that I could recruit officers in my territories because that takes money. So I built, a, I built marketplaces all over the kingdom. In this one, I have a bugged emperor event. Maybe they never finished the dialogue text for this, but that's that's what the envoy says. Blank. And he looks like Zihao Dun. So sure, I, I go ahead and say yes, because uh, this is your chance to see it. And of course, I get more blank text, inviting the emperor to my residence. I have prefix all along the border here so they fight off the enemy. I'm showing some of the new commands I have. The newest one I think came from the Emperor, which is threatened, and that makes the enemy surrender his kingdom to me. Very low percentage chance of success. Here's all the officers I have. I have quite a few. 
They're all special officers. And in this one, I show that, notice my virtue. Blood Moon is on the nice side of things, so he uses Persuade these days. It's easy to be nice when you're powerful. Here we have the final assessment of my kingdom when I stop for the day. You'll notice the July picture on the bottom left. That's a screenshot taken right before before the battle occurs where the game crashed. So you'll notice it says 196 AD in July. I've spent about six and a half years after conquering the West consolidating my forces. That's the larger picture in the back to the right. You'll notice also that there is a difference of less, one less province. That's just the province in the middle. I didn't capture that one. I didn't recall that being a province I own. You also note that I have a much larger stable of officers. I do not believe this testament gives me an unfair advantage because as I've mentioned a few times, this is on easy mode. It doesn't really matter what I'm using, the enemy will die. And that does make for a faster Empire's playthrough though, so I, I do I do kind of feel that the Empire's itself is not so good for me to be doing a let's play on. Maybe it's just because it's not easy. I don't know. In any case, I have a large number of officers, so that way I don't have to sweat getting them during the game, and it's for an achievement later on. And there's also so that you have a variety of different officers that you can see me fight with instead of Blood Moon all the time. If I do use Blood Moon though, he is, you'll notice, level 81. Everybody else is about level 40. It'll be much easier when I do use Blood Moon. I also have a large number of marketplaces because I need some way to pay for all these officers their upkeep. And when recruiting them, they require a lot of gold up front. When scouting them out from an enemy territory, they come by for free. The only officers I don't have yet are free officers inside enemy kingdoms. And any special officer rulers. That wraps up this session. During this post commentary, which is occurring on the 16th, my nose is completely stuffed. I still haven't gotten any healthier. But I still do appreciate that you chose to watch Trans playing Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. I hope to see you back soon.